by the title today we're doing a red flag video red flags you guys should look out for in a friendship and red flag you guys should look out for in a relationship i need to help y'all because some of you should be old enough to like tell but y'all can't tell let's get into the, the first one we're going to start with is um red flags in a friendship the first red flag i'm going to talk about the friends that don't support you at all those friends is like raw like, I don't even know how to describe them. How can you not support your friend in her grind or, like, him in his grind? I don't get it. So, let's say, yeah, for example, you have started a grind. Like, you will send her or him, like, you know, your page or whatever to shout out. They make up some random excuse. They don't have storage. They air it. Like, are you even friends with them? Like, are you guys even friends? Because friends are supposed to have each other's backs and they're supposed to want the best for someone else. But, no... They're really salty and shady. That should be the first flag. If you have a friend like that, cut him or her off right now. Right now, do it. Do it. Pause the video and go and cut them off. I don't care what you say to them. Go and tell them to watch my video and understand why they're getting cut off. Next one. Those friends that love to do up like sly sly and security jokes. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not on. <laughs> oh, 100%. <laughs> it's not on <laughs> no it's really not on like how can you it's all wickedness for example i could say oh i'm very insecure about my legs because girl, i got some big legs i got some some thick things over here again like these things are really big but i'm not insecure about and everybody now knows i'm insecure about my legs because i don't wear like i don't know i don't wear like dresses and like i don't know i just don't like show my legs a lot and then you got that like, one friend for the first time. Like, just those slow, like, little shady insecurity jokes. Like, oh, your legs are big, you know. Your legs are this, you know. Like, oh, are you sure you want to wear that? Your legs are too big in that. Like, why would you say that? Do you get what I mean? And then, I'm just joking. No, it's not a joke. It's really not a joke. Things like that, I don't take stuff like that lightly. I find it very disrespectful. You know how I feel about it. And you're going to come and now talk about it and stuff like that. You're supposed to be my friend. You're supposed to comfort me. Tell me, like, you was born like this. Do not slice like jokes about it. Not cute at all. Another red flag, yeah. Those friends that are just never happy for you. Like, ever. They're just never happy for you. When it's, when it's, when it's them, you're happy for them. Let's say, for example, you have a boyfriend, guy. Can you say hi to... Oh, wow. Say hi to all my you my supporters. Say hi. Quickly say hi, man. She's a bit shy, guys. Say hi. She didn't say hi to me. Stop it. Let's say that now that um I don't know, one of your friends is in a relationship. And you guys have been like talking about you guys have been in a relationship for so long, like there's no one. Someone finally comes for her or him. You're happy for them, gassing them, everything all the time. Like you guys are cute together. Like I said in my other video, like my other video, if you know that one of your friends like not stop banging, don't lie to them and be like, oh my god, it's saying then it's not. Don't lie, don't lie to your friends, man. It's not a cute look. You don't need to lie to them. I already said it a hundred times. But moving on, let's say like you're gassing them all of that. But as soon as it's you, nothing is said. Do you get what I mean? Nothing is said. No support, whatever no gassage like what the what is that bruv okay another one another red flag in a friendship if you've pissed off that person or whatever yeah or if that person has pissed you off and you now accidentally bounce back some words to them like let's for example i never liked you in the first place <laughs> you're actually just there <laughs> then they say later oh my god I, I was so angry like you know i didn't mean it they're lying they meant it 
they meant it they've been waiting they've been waiting to say that to you and now that you've pissed them off or they've pissed you off you've blared it out and now you don't want to say the truth so now you're saying that it was a joke and that like you was pissed off at them like you you know i didn't mean to say it. no look out for those friends you know because those ones they've been waiting to say it you know everything said out of anger is what's actually in their heart so don't act like a dickhead if someone has said something like that to you or something even deeper like that to you and you're still going to carry on chatting to the person i don't care what the problem was i don't care what you done what they done just don't be stupid and another one another red flag yeah that's like this is the one that i think it pisses me off the most you know because it's like i don't know a group of girls a group of ugly bitches have been talking shit about me then you got that one friend that obviously there's always going to be that there's always going to be that one friend that comes and reports it to you i'm saying report i'm not trying to say tell you it's they're reporting let me explain let me explain before you start saying what what let me explain that friend is reporting what those other ugly bitches rat bitches mosquito bitches quack 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 cow bitches have said about you yeah that friend has now reported to you what they've said right the friend will not tell you even if the friend tells you who said it blah 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 the friend will not tell you what she said or what he said to defend you because they didn't say shit they stood there like a mosquito they stood there they stood there like a statue, like, listening to what those cow bitches were saying about you. They didn't defend your case. I don't want to hear that. That's when red flag from me. It's like, man, man, man. I don't, I don't want to. Don't come and tell me what an ugly bitch has been saying about me if you're not going to tell me what you said to defend my case. Do you get what I mean? What is the point then? Because me, I'm that person. I'm that type of person. If I hear someone said about me, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't get, I get, I, I <laughs> I can't even speak. I don't give a toss. Like right, when I hear stuff like that, face is blank because what do you want me to say? You don't like me. You don't like me. What? What now? I'm, I'm not gonna go stay in my bedroom and start crying because one. He, do you know how much there is? Do you know how much humans are in the world, bruv? One, five, ten, twenty-five doesn't like me, and I'm going to now go and kill myself and and start saying that time this or never. Don't do that. Don't be that person. You don't need them another red flag yeah for a friendship i don't know if it's just me i don't like gossip i can't lie like if there's always that one friend that always comes up to you to explain somebody else's gossip or somebody else's business to you like what what are you doing hey man what's your business man what's your business yeah i mean it's a lot it's a lot like, don't you have other things to do like we're in quarantine there's actually homework to do you guys have like on online school on wednesday or something like that like don't be dumb don't be dumb much negative energy talking about somebody else is so much negative energy do you get what i mean i got tea i got tea shut up that is not tea that you have that is you running your mouth that is you running your mouth don't come up to me oh i got tea that's not tea hey, hey, when i hear that in the name of jesus you're you're gone don't your tea is not for me anybody please i uh, rebuke it go give it to the next person amen that's not tea guys the hell anyway yeah moving on to the relationship red flag number one i know some boys oh my god i'm not even gonna say too much i know some boys that will grab their girlfriend's phone out of their hand so quickly she doesn't say shit twice in a day shoop, shoop, doesn't say anything when the girl now tries to shoop, I, what you do if i move wow 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 how can you? I don't understand. I will never understand that. Wow. Are you being serious? Like, what are you doing, man? Move, man. I don't know, man. I don't. Wow. Who the hell are you texting? Or what do you have to hide? You're, nah, the thing is, yeah, it's either there's two type of relationships. It's either you're the unbothered one, if he takes your phone, if you take his phone, he doesn't care. And then you've got the relationships where if one of them's going to act all stingy, then you don't do all of that. You just stay like on your ones, both of you. No, do you get what I mean? No grabbing this person's phone, not grabbing that person's phone. You have your own phone in your hand, period. Because at this point, it can't be one person grabbing the phone, the other one don't want to give the phone. Don't be dumb. G -g 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 girls, 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 girls. Girls, stop that. Not stop that. I mean, open your eyes.
Open your eyes, lab number two. If he's always posting you on his private story, he's literally not saving you that because he thinks, oh, the bros are going to want to talk to you. The bros are going to do this. People are going to start sending you around because you're beautiful. He's doing it because he has other hoes, bruv. He has other girlfriends. You're not the only one. You are not the only one. Because there is... I need to even cross my hand, my, my legs, because at this point, what the fuck? You are not the only one, honey. You're not the only one. Because I get it, yeah. I get it. Some boys will argue. Oh, yeah, but we haven't even been speaking for that one long. I want to keep everything private. I want to keep everything. Shut the fuck up! How long can you keep stuff private for? Because I know you've tried to keep your shit private, but people end up finding out. So they're just thinking, fuck it. I might as well just blare it all out. How can we be talking? Let's say we talked in January now. We've been talking now up to um three, four months-ish now. First month, you were keeping me on your private for a little bit. Cool. I understand that. What if we're not? Like, some people will argue, uh, what if, like, you know, it doesn't go out well. Just at the start. Oh, well. Do you get what I mean? First month, I'm on your private. Cool, you're on mine. Mm -mm. Second month, it's like, cool, you're still doing up private. So now you're sending my beautiful self to your streaks okay okay still no story yeah third month yeah no no you're just taking the piss you're taking the actual piss why are you not posting me on your story and those boys are like oh because i know the man them are gonna say you're a bitch bro you actually care about what the man them are gonna say you didn't come from your mom's womb with the man them stop being stupid now if the man them think your girl's ugly that's the man them. Why do they care what your girl looks like? It's your girl. Doesn't make sense. The man them think she's ugly. That's why you're not putting her on your story. Because what your man them think about her. You are not your man them. You are on your ones. Just remember that. Red flag for the boys. <laughs> Let's see a bit of red flags for the boys. Because, yeah. Basically, yeah. There will always be the she belongs to the street girls, right? If you have heard that this girl that you're speaking to has done something with one, more than one of your friends, it's not a cuffing thing. You can't cuff her. I let you, yeah. <laughs> Damn thing, this is them. She's, she's giving the slops. You know, she's getting her back blown out by two or more of your boys. Yeah, you're not, it's not a cuffing thing. Tell her straight up. Girls like that, I, I don't understand how you can expect to get cuffed by someone you actually like. You've upped off most of his friends, or most of them, because you know boys of this generation, they know everybody else. You can up off a boy in East, he posts you, the boy in East, raw shit on your floor, shit! Nobody wants to hear that! <laughs> First of all, it's very embarrassing. I'm sorry, you're just never gonna get cuffed. Because at this point, you're upping off these boys know each other. They all know each other. Like, it's not hard. Do you get what I mean? It's really not hard. Another one. If you see her commenting on the other man them's post, yeah? Vice versa as well. If you see him or her commenting on the other man them or other girl them's post, it's not a serious thing. What the fuck are you commenting for? You've already liked the picture. Why do you feel the need to comment? What is the issue there? For you to be commenting, you've already liked the picture. Why? For girls as well, you know. Don't be letting your man comment under. I don't care how long he's known the girl. I don't care. She could have been your, your nigga from primary, from nursery. You've known her since nursery till now. Don't be letting your nigga comment under other females. What the hell? Is it there? Nah. Don't be talking. <laughs> Don't be dumb. The comments are on the post thing is a lot. One more. If you can tell, like, every, you know, you, know, you can tell she's valuing her boy best friend more than you at this point, and the relationship is very serious. Like, you need to tell her to cool off. Do you know what I mean? Me and Sarah used to. I don't care about you and Sarah. You're not with Sarah. You're with me. 
bugs. Don't be dumb. What are you trying to marry Sarah now? If you want to be a Sarah, go be a Sarah. Anyway, guys. Guys, that's the end of the red flag for friendship, red flag for a relationship video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you're new, subscribe to the family if you're new, if you're new. Anyway, see you guys in my next video, bye. You got a fella that you want, need some old school love, wish you had a switch that you could hit, let her know what you with. You got a fella that you want,